Colin Kaepernick hasn't played in an NFL game in two seasons, and yesterday Roger Goodell was asked why that's the case. Let's take a listen. Our clubs are the ones that make decisions on um, players that they want to have on their roster. They make that individually. Uh, they make that in the best interest of their team. And that's something that uh, we as the NFL take pride in. I think if a team decides uh, that Colin Kaepernick or any other player can help their team win, that's what they'll do. Okay, Shannon, what is your reaction? Skip, you know I don't believe there's anyone that's been in the media that's been more supportive of Roger Goodell than I have. I've gone to bat for him on several occasions, but this is where I separate from him. He's got to miss me with this. And I understand why Commissioner Goodell is saying what he said, because he's still a part of the lawsuit that Colin Kaepernick has going on against the NFL. But it's hard for me to believe, Skip, and let me just name a few names. Josh Johnson, who last threw a pass in 2011, started games this year. Mark Sanchez, Nathan Peterman, Matt Barkley, Cody Kessler. It's hard for me to believe, and I think any rational, prudent fan that watches the game of football can honestly say those guys are better than Colin Kaepernick. R Commissioner Goodell is acting like Colin Kaepernick is saying, I need to be a starter. But no one will even give him an opportunity to bring him in and have him throw in shorts and T-shirt against air? You bring him in and you just sit him down and, and talk about what's going on. You, don't, you, you talk about what's his life. You don't ask him anything about X's and O's. Come on, commissioner. Don't insult our intelligence. And I get it. He can't say, but we know. And they say, well, you can't have a, two, you can't have a team and have two systems. Did Lamar Jackson run the same plays as Joe Flacco? Okay, what about Marcus Mariota, Skip? He's the starter in Tennessee. His backup is Blaine Gabbert. You can't get two more polar opposite at the quarterback position than that. Now, it was reported last May, Yahoo broke a, a story that the NFL ordered a, uh, ordered a focus group, and they asked him a lot of questions about Colin Kaepernick. And like a lot of things, Skip, in our society today in America, mm -hmm. it came down racial lines. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is the reason, and the only reason, the NFL did not punish players that kneeled or did some type of gesture during the playing of the national anthem because it came right down racial lines. The white people, white America thought Colin Kaepernick and those that protested during the anthem should be punished. The blacks and the minorities didn't think that. The Republicans thought that Colin Kaepernick and those like Colin should be punished. Democrats did not. Uh, uh, the millennials thought Colin Kaepernick was well within his right Baby boomers said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> so what we're seeing, Skip, is that this is not about the team. They did their homework on this. And I believe this is one of the main reasons that they stood pat. Because, you know, you keep hearing uh, uh, the commissioner and the, uh, uh, some of the owners, our fans, our fans. But I think what they realize is that they have black fans. And they buy a uh, uh, member paraphernalia and they go to games and they buy hot dogs. And they support their teams just like their counterparts. And I believe this is the only reason that the NFL stood pat and didn't dole out punishment. But for Commissioner Goodell to stand up there and look into a camera and speak into a mic and say teams are basing their decision solely on who can help them win games, he's being disingenuous. As you know, I'm a baby boomer who said hell yes to Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Was I surprised by what the commissioner said? Yeah, no, I was not. This has become the annual right <laughs> of his State of the Union. He gets asked, it almost feels like a planted question mm. mm -hmm. about Colin Kaepernick, and he gives the same answer. Don't blame me, don't look at me, it's the team. So if they don't want but skip, him. Before, but skip, before you go any further, think about it. We've had three Super Bowls since Colin Kaepernick has last played. Yep. This is gonna, this is gonna be will. a continuing thing, Skip. Good, yeah. like it. Right. And yet, I know what the teams will say. Well, they, they, he, Cap gave him a, a small excuse because, unfortunately, he got stuck in his last year as a starter on a bad football team in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And he went 1-10 and 10 as the starter on that team. But he had 16 touchdown passes to only four interceptions. And I, I raved that year, 2016, it was our first year here on Undisputed, about the game he played at Miami 
-hmm. They lost it, 31-24 at the end, but he was great. He had a QBR of 82 that day, threw for 296 and three touchdowns, and ran it for 113 yards. He looked like Colin Kaepernick to me. He looked like that yes. guy who came one controversial pass from winning a Super Bowl. And obviously, to all your points you made with all those backup, backup, backup quarterbacks who got to start, it's, it's just it's pitiful what happened. We know what happened. It's, it's a very sad story what happened because mm -hmm. this man threatened most of the owner's bottom lines. There were a few owners who were with him, but I think vast majority against him just because he was such a threat. But mm -hmm. Shannon, it's a sad story with a great silver lining that gleams from sea to shining sea because Colin Kaepernick had dramatic resounding, lasting impact as a social justice crusader. Yes. He became the face of a crucial movement in this country, and I will forever be grateful to him for sacrificing what the, the back end of his NFL sure. career for that. Still had a very good NFL career, and he mm -hmm. could have had another, I don't know, six, eight. Heck, if Tom Brady's going to play until he's 45, Colin could have played until he was 35. I don't know. But, but again, it, it's just clear what happened. And his collusion suit against the NFL drags on and on and on. And it could drag on for infinity. You know, you know your skill for me is that, you know, people are like, well, he was terrible in, in San Francisco. My question is, how many of Colin's teammates are still in San Francisco? <laughs> how many of Colin's teammates are still in the NFL? They make it seem like Colin Kaepernick was the only bad player on that roster, and that's why they lost. There's a reason. They fired the head coach yep. after one year. And a lot of those players, I can assure you, when Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, the general manager, came in mm -hmm. there, they cleaned that whole, just about that entire locker room out. Mm. So yeah. this notion that Colin Kaepernick, and I'm not saying Colin Kaepernick is Tom Brady. I'm not saying he's Warren Moon. I'm not saying he's Peyton Manning. But it's hard for me to believe with yep. some of the quarterbacks. Nathan Peterman <laughs> started games in the NFL. Mark Sanchez, Skip, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And we're not, Skip, we're not saying bring him in and now he's the de facto starter. But for no one, Skip, we've seen guys have wage, and Colin Kaepernick didn't do anything, but we've seen guys have checkered pass, pass, and they get an opportunity to play again. And that's what I, and all I'm saying is that you're not going to bring the guy in and just let him throw against there to see, yeah, we brought him in, but <clears throat> nah, mm. we, we, we don't think he have it, have it anymore. But you saying that from a distance. You haven't even brought the guy in. You haven't even yep. brought him in to talk X's and O's and put him up on the whiteboard. And I will finish this off with one quick trivia note. That year that Colin was the starter in San Francisco 2016, he did win one game. Guess where it was? Here in Los Angeles against the Rams, Coached by Jeff Fisher, oh, quarterback right. by Jared Goff, who threw for a grand mm -hmm. total of 90 yards in that game and lost to Colin Kaepernick, just wow. for point of wow. order. Wow. Well, it is shocking when you list up all those names, Shannon. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. uh, get any easier to hear those words from the mm. commissioner. But coming up, we're going to go back to the NBA. And good news, Michael Rappaport. Oh. He's oh, here, here so that ain't I'm no already good news. bracing myself. We're going to yeah. talk LeBron, Anthony Davis, and oh, plenty more.